Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT Review, the official guide. If you do not have this book, buy it immediately. You will find it at MBA.com. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 170, problem solving number 132. Let's take a look at it. You have to have the book in front of you so that you can follow my work. It says, in the small snack shop, the average revenue was $400 over a 10 day period. All right. If the average was $400 over a 10 day period, That tells me that they must have had a total revenue of 4,000. If you had the average of 400 for 10 day over a 10 day period, the total has to be 4,000 because 4,000 divided by 10 is going to give you 400. Let's keep on going then. Then I'm told during this period, if the average daily revenue was 360 for the first six days, all right, so it was 360 degrees, 360 dollars for the first six days and what is 360 divided by 6 if you don't know do it out do it out and figure it out but for, for those of you who can figure out quickly what a 6 cube is that's what that is because 6 times 6 is 36 36 times 6 is 216 216 and, and you should know some of these basic things you should know the cube of 2 the cube of 3 cube of 4 cube of 5 and cube of 6 you should at least know that much for, for, for GMAT by heart and of course you should know all the squares from 1 through 20 with the exception of maybe 17 18 and 19 but you should know all of the others so anyway so, so it is 2160 2, it comes in handy if you know these things by heart so that you don't end up wasting your time but if you don't know it, just do it out. Multiply 36 by 6 and you will find this to be this answer. So that tells me that the average of the other four, I'm going to call it x, the average of the other four days, average of the other four days, average of the other four days times 4 has to be the difference of the two, which is simply 4,000 minus 2,160. 4,000 minus 2,160, uh, which is... 4, 9 minus 1 is 8, 1840. So therefore the average of the other four days must be this number divided by 4. And again you shouldn't have to waste your time sitting there doing it longhand like this. This is a waste of time. Do it like a grown up people, I'm going to show you. 4 goes into 18, uh, 4 times, that's 16, I have 2 left over that comes over here and 24 goes into 4, 6 times, so it's 460. 460 is my answer. The answer is D. And that's all. How else could I have figured all of this out? Well, here's the other way. Another way is to realize that this uh, 4000 minus 2160 that we need has to be same as, I see, I know that 4000 minus 2000 is 2000. 4000 minus 2000 is 2000. Of course, that's very easy, but I'm not supposed to subtract 2000, I'm supposed to subtract 2160. So the average is, the average of the other four is this amount minus 160. Because this amount, the 2000 represents. 4,000 minus 2,000 and then I have to take away another 60, you see, because it's not, it's not 4,000 minus 2,000, it's 4,000 minus 2,160. So this is the average if I were to divide this by 4. That becomes very simple. That becomes very simple because 2,000 divided by, 2,000 divided by 4 is 500 minus 40. 500 minus 40 is 460, right here. That's what it is, this, that's a 40. 160 divided by 4 is 40. Anyway, the answer is D. I hope you understood what I did here. I didn't. I, I, sometimes I wonder if I should. 
I should go into these things because sometimes it might confuse somebody. I'm just trying to tell you how else I could have figured out how else could I figure out the average of the four without doing the subtraction like this and without having to divide 1840 by four? Another way would have been, I would have told myself that 4,000 minus 2,160 has to be 4,000 minus 2,000, which is 2,000, minus 160. You see? 4,000 minus 2,000 minus 160 is same as 4,000 minus 2,160. So, if I want to find the average of, of, of this quantity, whatever this quantity is, if I were to divide this number, the 2000 by 4, that gives me 500. And if I were to divide 160 by 4, that gives me 40. So it's 500 minus 40, which is 460, which is what I've been talking about. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to buy the DVDs, or if you wish uh, DVDs of the math solutions that I have, or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, I'm located in Connecticut. In either case, go to my website at www.prepforgmat.com, send me an email, and we'll talk. Alright, I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you soon. Thanks.